The Mississippi River is the heart and soul of St. Paul. It's the reason a city was built here in the first place. For centuries before Europeans arrived, Native American tribes lived in villages on both shores. In the mid-1800s, white settlers established a more permanent village along the riverfront. With growing numbers of people living on both sides of the river, the use of ferry boats to travel from one shore to the other became cumbersome. The city needed a permanent river crossing. In 1858, St. Paul's first bridge across the Mississippi was completed at Wabasha Street. The 1880s saw a boom in population and construction in St. Paul. The Wabasha Bridge was rebuilt and enlarged and two more bridges were built, the Smith Avenue High Bridge and the Robert Street Bridge. The Robert Street Bridge was constructed of wrought iron at a cost of over $1 million. That was a lot of money in those days and it took 60 years before the bridge was completely paid for. Unfortunately, that's about 20 years longer than the bridge lasted. By the 1920s, it was clear that a new, bigger bridge was needed to handle the increasing automobile and streetcar traffic. The old bridge was designed in the era of horses and buggies. It was straining from the thousands of vehicles and trolleys that now crossed it daily. Robert Street had become a major thoroughfare, linking University Avenue to downtown, the west side, South St. Paul, and cities as far south as Winona. Construction on the new bridge began in 1924 and was completed in 1926. During those two years, a temporary bridge at Jackson Street helped to alleviate some of the traffic congestion. The new bridge was built of reinforced concrete. Although the structure appears to be made up of individual blocks, it is actually poured concrete that has been modeled with grooves and indentations to emphasize the play of light and shadows on the surfaces. The huge twin arches of the main span are actually steel load-bearing frames encased in concrete. The rainbow arch design gives greater clearance for boats than an arch beneath the roadway. The bridge's engineers had to contend with other strict parameters to fit the bridge onto its site. The change of grade from downtown to the west side, the river navigation channel, 2nd Street, multiple railroad tracks, and a railroad lift bridge. All of these determined how and where the bridge would be built. With maintenance including replacement of the roadway in the 1980s, the Robert Street Bridge has served our capital city for 80 years. To replace it could cost $40 million, but the Minnesota Department of Transportation plans to maintain this Art Deco landmark as one of our state's historic bridges for future generations.